Hello, my name is Dr. Azura Ahmad, medical oncologist in Beacon Hospital. You are now watching Beacon Channel. Breast cancer is an abnormal growth in the breast. Breast cancer is the commonest cancer in the world and also the commonest breast cancer among women in Malaysia. It's estimated there will be one breast cancer for every 19 women in Malaysia. And this is common, however, it's not as common as its incidence in the West. Now you might wonder what are the causes for breast cancer and we actually don't really know. There are risk factors that predispose someone to get breast cancer. But having the risk factor does not necessarily mean that you will get breast cancer. It's therefore very important that you all, we all should be aware of your own breasts, a concept that we call breast aware, because we need to know what is normal for your breasts and it might be different during the course of the month. Should you have any concerns of any abnormality or if you find any lumps, or if you ever concerned, you should get medical attention for assessment as soon as possible and your doctor will arrange investigation including x-ray of your breasts called mammogram. There are many ways for treatment of breast cancer. Usually, it includes treatment such as surgery, chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Your breast surgeon would have spoken to you about the type of surgery you would need and this usually can be either part of the breast being removed called breast conserving surgery or the total breast being removed associated with removal of lymph nodes under your armpits. Patients who had part of their breast removed would usually have radiotherapy as part of their treatment as well. Most patients will go on to get some form of drug therapy which include terms such as chemotherapy, hormonal therapy and targeted therapy. In the era of personalized therapy, uh, most uh, breast cancer patients' breasts will be tested for certain characteristics and therefore your treatment might be different from one to the other, which is a concept called personalized and individualized therapy. Therefore, it's not easy to uh, compare your treatment between different patients. Breast cancer is considered a chemosensitive disease and there are many options in terms of drugs that can be used for breast cancer. Your oncologist will discuss with you which treatment is appropriate because it depends on the characteristics of your tumour as well as the risk of your cancer as well as your past medical history which determine the kind of therapy that is suitable for you. Most chemotherapy drug is actually given by intravenous injection. It is given by a specific device in your arm or sometimes in your chest called a chemoport. And there are also now uh, ways of taking this medication uh, by mouth or orally. Uh, the chemotherapy drugs are given in periods called cycles whereby the treatment will be repeated according to the protocol specified for the drug of choice. There are now also options of using targeted therapy, which are biological agents which are used for certain types of treatment that express certain uh, characteristics such as HER2 stages. Chemotherapy affects people in different ways and your nurses and your doctors will not be able to predict how you would react to chemotherapy. Some patients may continue on working while others might feel so tired that they are un unable to work and may need a, a extra and additional rest. Side effects that you know about such as hair loss, feeling sick, your weak immune system can now be reduced or if not minim uh, reduced and minimized and prevented by using good supportive measures such as modern anti-sickness drugs and injections. It's important to emphasize that many of the side effects that we all that you dread about is actually short-lived and your side effects will stop once the treatment uh, finishes. So, so it's very important that you have good support from your loved one or your family and also to maintain your nutrition by eating a, a well-balanced diet. Thank you for watching Beacon Channel. I hope you find that the information that we have provided so far to be useful and informative. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to approach any of us for further information because we are here to help you.